Now, in a bid to encourage more young people to see checking their mental health as normal, the British Deputy Commissioner partnered with Joy I. NC to have an evening to talk about mental wellness. A film was premiered to drive the conversation. Fumi Unwajafi has more details on this. In commemoration of World Mental Day, Joy Inc., in partnership with the British Deputy Commissioner, had a conversation on mental health and wellness. The evening started with the premiere screening of Fine, a short film produced by Kemi Lala Akindoju. The film erased the stereotype of only trauma victims experiencing depression. The lead character in the film is a successful, high-achieving young woman who is sad despite her family and career success. I wanted to make a film um, and then I, want, I was going to collaborate with Odeni Care and she was going to write it. So I said I wanted to tell a story around depression and I wanted a story, I didn't want a story that was like going to exaggerate, you know, many times you see stories of depression and then maybe something bad has happened, bad things, you know. I wanted a story that was more normal, that spoke about the reality of what people were going through in their everyday lives. And she came up with this script, it was a long monologue. And we both decided on what to do and voila, we made the film. The evening continued with the panelists sharing their personal experiences about the importance of mental well-being in the workplace, especially as the average working adult spent at least 10 hours of their day at work. Organizations need to take responsibility for building safe workspaces as emotional balance humans will be more productive. The organizers spoke on the importance of the event. I'm really happy that as the British government here in Nigeria, we can support organizations like Joy who are doing what they can to increase awareness of mental health, to encourage people to take those small steps day to day that can help strengthen their mental health and avoid them suffering from conditions like depression and anxiety and so on. Mental health is something that affects everybody at some point in their lives. Some Sometime you're going to go through a period where you're your mental health is not in a good place and that needs to be okay it needs to be all right for us to talk about it because until we talk about it um, we are ignoring the problem and we're making it worse for people being able to talk about how you're really feeling is a really important way of managing your mental health so I'm really glad that we're helping to create that safe space for that to happen beyond having conversations around mental health how do we ensure that we have we build safe spaces in our workplaces you know how do we ensure that uh, the themes go beyond just we focus on depression or mental health when people are sick or ill. But rather than how can we just have more safe spaces for people to just be and be well. So that's why we're having this conversation. The evening ended with everyone agreed on the need to normalize mental health check with the belief that the global epidemic of depression and suicide can be curbed. Fumi Unwajefe reported for PLOS TV Africa. And it's time to take a quick break now. Stay tuned for more news when we return.